This is the first agricultural festival in Africa. Agricultural festival, which is a North First program focusing this time on North. But from next year, North First will shift and will now focus on the agricultural. But the headquarters and the permanent site will remain Ogoja. Just like we have the Carnival Calabar headquartered in Calabar, this will now be headquartered here in perpetuity here in Ogoja local government area of Cross River State. And I think that the whole Nigeria should look back and see the potential of Cross River State. And that's why even in the new ministry we are creating, it has a special grant and financial support for those who are into agriculture. And of course, that's the only way to grow. If you look at America, they said that has $16 billion just as a grant to farmers to encourage them to stay in farming business. So we have a provision in the 2020 budget that allows me to put money directly into the pocket of a farmer that I'm sure has a geolocated farm and that is producing. And that's why we are taking an inventory against the names of the farmers so that we can have a, a data bank to encourage and support them. So this is a great opportunity for all Nigerians to know that the Buhari administration had emphasis on the known oil value chain and the Nigerian beyond oil and the roadmap of the country moving into prosperity and export dependence based on agriculture. That is what Northwest is showcasing to the world. This Northwest is a stimulus for agriculture. That I have seen how many people have decided to take farming seriously. And I'm very proud of the people of the Northern Cross River State for this massive harvest. And most of them, like their honey, like their cocoa, organic fertilizer, organic, nothing like inorganic fertilizer. So what you have here is organic farm. You can cut it and leave it for one year. It will never change color. It will never denature because we don't use fertilizer. We still practice shifting cultivation, which is the old tradition. And I'm very happy and very proud that this is happening right here in my senatorial district. And you see all of these yams, Cross River State government will buy all of them. Part of them will go to our IDPs in Bakasi. We will distribute them to kids who don't have loved ones. We take them to stranded families, vulnerables and the challenge.